Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisha. I am the owner of PGL Planners and this is my YouTube channel where we do everything faith and planning. And welcome to today's video. It is our May unboxing, ladies. Woo -woo. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, if you're new here, I don't remember if I said this, so forgive me if I'm repeating myself. I'm a little tired. But if you're new here, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on, on things that are new. And y'all, it's time for our unboxing. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. You guys, this box is built for the creative peoples. <laughs> but it still has convenience for those of us who want it all done, but still want it to look extremely creative and pretty. And we've been doing a lot of neutral boxes. So I did go for some pops of color with this particular box while still keeping it pretty calm, pretty cool. I've also challenged myself with this month's box and did not include any specific patterns. I do have two particular patterns that I use to kind of add some extra flair to the box, but there is no set pattern for this box. So we're going to hop right into it. I'm going to pause this briefly to get it set up for us to look at our stickers. And then we will go to dashboard an extra little goodie. We'll go to views for the planner, like the planner inserts. Then we will go to the, um, what is it called? The extra item that I really am excited about that I'll have to show you all how to use as well as the um, custom scene setup, whatever. We'll make our way through, okay? Hold on one second. All right, y'all, so we're gonna hop right into the sticker book. This is this month's sticker book. There is no pattern on the front, y'all. It was so weird. I was like, normally I'm so used to <clears throat> picking one of my favorite patterns and like putting it on the back, but we're gonna go ahead and click right into it. <clears throat> so for the month of May, I'm really excited about this particular font that I chose. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one out of the way because you don't need any special app to get these symbols. You will press certain buttons on the keyboard. So if you do end up purchasing this, there's a little slide that shows you how to get the symbols. So you can do this on your keyboard and you don't need an app or any particular program to get these really gorgeous flowers on the sides of your font. So I just wanted to point that out. So I did the fonts in black this month just to make sure you can see them. And then we have many months in Sunday and Monday start. I did, I am gonna start including those. I mentioned that last month for every box to have a Sunday and Monday start because I realize everyone does not do a Sunday start. I personally like a Sunday start, but there are instances where I do a Monday start as well. So I've included both. And you have a very simple pink here with like a little paper clip. You have the gorgeous uh, flowers. And then I did one with one of the patterns, quote unquote, that are included in this box, just to add some interest and not keep it so flat. I absolutely love them. They're so pretty. Our hex codes for this month vary. This box was so interesting to play with and I nailed it, but it was definitely more of a challenge than I thought originally it would be, if that makes sense. So we have our hex codes. We have some days of the week that don't have the flowers on there in case you do not purchase the font because obviously for your month view, it would be kind of hard to squeeze these kinds of scripts onto that top line. So I did think about that. You have two variations of the florals, which I absolutely love. They're so pretty. Um, I did sneak a little sneak peek into the group of me organizing this and Katie did mention that you can color these in. She's excited to do that. So if you do like to color, then these will be fun to color in. I personally am gonna leave them as is, maybe. If I feel inspired and I have the time, I might color it for like a daily view. And then we have our date dots here. They are inside of a little ring with some gorgeous magnolias. Magnolias are some of my favorite flowers. I think that's what these are. They look like magnolias off of a magnolia tree. I'm from Georgia, so. We, I grew up with my father having one of these trees in front of the house. So yes, these were just an automatic yes. Absolutely stunning. Our next page includes our decor. And so of course, I love April's designs. She totally, like when I, I was looking around multiple artists things, I'm not a huge fan of AI art. I really like to purchase from people who are hand drawing their elements because they are struggling right now. And so I love me some April. And she just recently announced, by the way, that she's doing more Christian uh, faith-based stickers. So I'm super, super excited. But I also love her because she gives us such a nice range 
of skin tones and hair colors. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. You can surely find somebody over here who looks close to you. But of course, these are bubbled as well as white outlined. You can see kind of the thickness of their outer edging. This is great for layering on top of things, which this box has a lot of that. So you are going to definitely need it for this month. You have these cutie pies hanging out in their little flamingos and stuff like that. Now this box is giving summer, but the only reason why I'm doing this is because there are some other variations of summer I want to give. <laughs> so I wanted to just go ahead and get this one out of the way because I've had my eye on this illustration set for a while. And I, I was like, May, yes. Mother's Day, yes, because we are on vacation on Mother's Day if you are a mommy. And then even if you aren't, this is still like, yes, I didn't want to overly like saturate this box with Mother's Day stuff because not everyone is a mom. And then on top of that, some are grandmommies and I do have those in there and you're still a mom, obviously, but you'll see what I'm saying. So anyways, these are gorgeous elements, absolutely cute, so freaking adorable, lots of elements, you all. I made sure we had a lot to play with so so cute and perfect this is actually an, a mistake i have this sticker too close to this one but you see how that white outline outline and whoo boy slow down Daisha. that southern is coming out <laughs> this white outlining is starting uh is overlapping here on this green leaf you can see how that's always convenient to have with the sticker because then you can stack them and they don't like look flat and it doesn't look sloppy we have some more girls here kicking it, drinking their water, looking like they're giving someone the side eye. <laughs> they look like they're giving someone the side eye. I'm just realizing that. But that is so stinking cute, and I love these. So classy. I am loving the fits. Just absolutely gorgeous. And then some really cute little scene creators down here. Just chef's kiss, April. Girl, you did that. I am in love with these ladies. I actually made these transparent because these are great to make really big on a background. And we'll talk about that later when I show you guys some of the elements that I've added into this box. Some more decor items down here at the bottom. This box has a lot of decorations. <laughs> it has a lot of decor. Now we're moving into the widgets, all right? So we have these. Now I, I personally don't know how often I will use this style of widget. However, when I was playing with it, it was fun and I had myself a good time. So I understand the concept. I just don't know if I have the time for it. So I'm gonna cover both sides of the spectrum. If you have time, this is for you, boo. I listen, I hear you, I know you want it. You want the widgets with the different backgrounds. You got the widgets with the different backgrounds. So we got our girls hanging out here, each skin tone represented. We've got some really cute little pencils and things like that over here. We've got our florals and things like that over here, which is really, really cute. We've got some reminders set up over here. Sorry, <laughs> kiddo came downstairs. Sent her back up, I will handle that later. I need this last bit of lighting. I cannot risk it, It's the sun is setting. But anyways, you have these really pretty reminders. You have these really gorgeous little blank ones, which I'm gonna show you all what to do with these because like I said, these are the ones where you put transparent widgets on top of these situations here and this is actually why i did this background this color so you guys could see them some more of that blank situation these are just labels these aren't meant to put a widget on top of but if you have widgets that are transparent from other creators then you can obviously put these on top of there i don't have that many of the transparent widgets in this box just because we're testing it out so if we like it then obviously I will make more and then we can talk about different variations, different kinds, etc. But I just wanted to dip my foot in the water before we just jump in, okay? We have the blank checklists. Bro and I got you, boo. Here we are. Our blank checklists. They're so pretty. I love, I love the little floral. I, I love it. It's just so pretty. I included the white with the black because there are instances where the white is harder to see on a color even still so if you have visual uh problems or you're you know you're just not able to see this you can do the white with the black and you can still color on top if you want it's completely up to you and then we have our white transparent ones and we also have black once again for the same reason so you have to do you also have a to do where it's curved out to go around the faces so obviously like let me show you what i mean let's grab ooh, I drew on it let's grab this and we're just gonna paste her okay 
So it goes around her head without it, like, you know what I'm saying, like being over her face in case you want that effect. But it also, I also included the one where it's a full to-do list. So that's completely up to you how you end up doing it. But I did include both because I know for me, design-wise, I, I will literally make my list fit on these lines just for it to not go over her head. But functionally, obviously you need the full list. So it is there. You can also use these on black views without the girls if you just wanted to create your own view with the transparents without the widget backgrounds, which I do like about this quite a bit. You have prayers, you have currently for your reading situation. If you want to do just what you're currently reading on your page, as well as your notes from that day, you have a daily tracker, Jerica. This one is blank. It does not have any particular item on it. You can just write what you're tracking down here and do your dots. You also have a daily tracker where you're tracking seven habit. I mean, excuse me, four habits at a time instead of just the one habit. So there's that. And these are the ones that would go on the little fat ones. So let me show you what I mean here. So we copy, we go over here and then we can paste it and pop it here. So it would go on that. So that's how that would work. Or you could just put it, like I said, on a dark view background. We've had quite a few inserts in the shop and in the box. So it's completely up to you what you end up putting these on. And then you have the exact same ones, but you have, oops, I'm sorry, I skipped this one. This is a progress tracker where you can track three things at a time. You can also stack them if you need to track more. But you also have it in black which I'm sure you can see a lot better over here. You have your uh, daily tracker and all that stuff. And then you have your progress tracker over here. And for the progress, because it is black, you will just use a white pen and exit out, or you can color it in white if you want to. It's completely up to you. But you have both black and white, depending on obviously the background you choose. Because if you choose white, you can't put white on top of that. So that is why I did that. And then you have this page. This is all for my shape ladies who really like the shape situation. So I did include some like little circles because you guys know how I like about the thingamajigs. But I was playing around with it because the backgrounds are the colors that come from this particular sticker kit. It actually makes it look like a little filter on these. So I like them a lot. I think that's so super cute. Gave some little visual images. You can make them big or small. These are all individual shapes. You can put those transparent widgets on here. You can also put widgets from other shops that you may have that you like um, that would fit within these shapes. I also did some that are faith-based, just already filled out if you just don't have time. <laughs> Me, if you just don't have time for it and, or maybe you're rushing or you just want something like this, then it's already done for you. It says prayer, Bible, struggles, and blessings. And there's also a blank one here in case you don't want the background situation. And there's also a white shape situation. And you have that variation in white, the green, and the pink. And then you have some more decor elements here that you can make nice and big to set to a side or make nice small. It doesn't matter, it's up to you. And let's hop right over here. I'm moving swiftly because I'm losing daylight. So that's, that's why you guys hear that little bit of like <laughs> rush going on. These are some really cute transparent tropical trees here. You have like this icy blue really cute pink and you have like this mustardy green over here you have some really cute verse moments just three just to see how we feel about this i love using the box sometimes to test out product ideas because i can see in your planner views what you're using and what you're not using if you're not using it i won't make it a future etsy product or if i see there's a lack of activity with that product i don't waste my time making a whole product around it so the idea behind this is that there is a verse already on here. You can put your annotated colors that you want to use for this particular one up here at the top, and then you will write your notes here. So it's already essentially done for you and just fill it out. And of course, there's also a white one in case you want to be able to see the verse better, etc. I gave each version for whatever it is that you might need. We have some square uh, bigger pieces that you can use for a vertical uh, plain vertical view if you're doing the, you know what I'm saying, like the vertical, the standard traditional vertical view for a planner. Um, you can also make these nice and big and put them on the background and put the shapes on top to make like a really cute planner scene. It's completely up to you. I do have two examples to show you of me using some of the stickers. I could not do 
all of it because there are a lot of stickers in this month's box as you could tell some more bigger scene images that you can put your ladies on or create a whole scene a whole spread around this is where the mother's day comes in as well as for my grandmamas and whatnot just some really cute little fun mama sayings you know what i'm saying outnumbered by tiny humans me um you know stuff like that just little fun quotes that you can pop on your spreads and things like that to celebrate this mother's day coming up in may and then there are some grandmommy quotes on here as well they're all just kind of mixed in so you'll have to look around and see what's going on now this is more of a functional piece that you can keep with you i'm going to be putting this in my in my my office pgl filing system because these are going to be perfect for the monthly views and weekly views as well as daily they're labels that are stuck together so bible study and book so you'll put the uh, bible study time frame you're going to be doing in the book you're reading or if there was an emergency that day what was the solution if you're doing a hair day what treatment are you doing are you straightening your hair washing your hair if you're studying what is the topic if you're shopping what is the budget like stuff like that just like really quick easy fill in pieces i absolutely wanted to add into this month's box because i needed them and the cute labels are adorable but something neutral as well works so i just wanted to like make a quick variation of that and see how i felt about it once again testing it out if i like it if we like it everyone's using it then i will include it in the box Hold, let me hang up that was my husband calling me but i'm filming the last page in this sticker book look we're already 16 minutes in and we're just only on the stickers um these are all polaroids you guys know i love a good polaroid this is like if you don't have the time you just need to quickly throw a spread together a polaroid is just as good especially if you don't, also don't have time to be on pinterest i've noticed that there's a trend of doing like pinterest pictures instead of stickers on your planner spreads and as cute as that is maybe you don't have time to do pinterest that day here you go pinterest has been done for you you don't have to worry about it and then you have these cute little block elements to help kind of scrapbook it up a little bit if you're into that kind of thing and so i'm going to show you guys the other sticker book really quickly and then we are going to go look at um the two example spreads and then we will keep moving on so give me one moment this particular uh, situation is a nod to Michaels and Hobby Lobby. I personally love going and getting their little packets of paper on sale. And because this box does not include patterns, it kind of like took away one of the many elements I love about the box, which is to be able to use the patterns to lay the groundwork for bigger things. And so that is what this particular product is. You get some papers in here. These are transparent whereas these are shapes, okay? Transparent, shapes. Transparent, shapes. You get the idea, right? So very basic patterns that will match this box very nicely. I made sure of that. I'm gonna show you guys two ways that I've used this product because it actually ended up being really, really nifty. Also, I have fallen in love with knitted patterns. These like pre-knitted or like pictures of knitted patterns. I'm gonna show you guys. I've used these in my office, the um, what you call it, um, filing system to layer like Pinterest pictures on top of. You guys, I mean, stop. You will crop these too um, because they're put together. They're all in one like cluster, so you'll just crop the one you want to use. But oh my gosh, like, oh my god, like. <laughs> It's so freaking pretty. I cannot with how gorgeous these are and how much fun you can have with throwing a picture on top of this. Like two pictures of maybe you and your daughter or you and your son on Mother's Day or you in a pretty dress. Just throw it on top of that thing. You don't have to crop it down. Just throw it on there. Different shapes, circle picture, square picture, rounded edge picture, like whatever floats your boat, right? And this is the last one. But give me one second, I'm gonna show you one of the examples of me using this, as well as the example of me using the stickers from this month's sticker book. So I was trying to get ideas for like ways to do the book tracker situation for this month, which I'm very happy with what I ended up settling on. But I was going through Pinterest and I used my little pattern thingy-majigs here to be like cute little decorations that matched. I used just one sheet 
and it completely did the job and how cute is it oh my gosh i love it and you guys know i'm obsessed with the my office system like oh my goodness this one i only have one situation set up because this is for ideas and since my shop is based on faith that is where all of the things have managed to go so i think i might have to do these by month because it is all going to be faith so give me one second and here are the examples of using the widgets so these are the four little shape situations and I did one where it was blank and I used some of the transparent widgets on top. So I did the currently reading, the to-do list, the progress tracker, and the daily tracker here with the lady, a little reminder pop at the top, a mom sticker, a little Polaroid, another sticker over here. And then this one was a lot easier to build. I used that little scrapbooking piece as it's about at the back with the Polaroids and threw it at the back, made it nice and big. 90 degree, that Monday sticker, popped her off to the side, gave a little Polaroid used one of the little uh, stitched patterns from the transparent stick, uh, sticker paper pack situation, popped a checklist, a verse moment, daily tracker at the bottom. You have the perfect faith spread for the day, literally. So, 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 so cute. So I love the stickers. I love the two sticker books that come with this month's uh, box. It is absolutely fabulous. Now we're gonna go ahead and look at the dashboard kit. And then we're gonna start looking at the views for the planner. All right, so this is this month's dashboard kit. And if you've been with me, you already know what's up. We did change up some of the formatting here. So I do have the pre-made pockets where you don't have to worry about anything, but I also have the ones where if you wanna put stuff in your pockets, you can do that because they're all in pieces. And so you will just pop your pocket pieces together. So say if you wanted to do this little peach number here, then you'll just move this over here, grab something to put in the pocket, and then grab the little pocket piece here and make it, you know, resize it obviously, on top of whatever it is you're putting it in your pocket and you've got this whole situation. So if you have something behind here, it will actually go inside of the pocket, which I have shown that example a couple of times. So just watch some plan with me's or join the free discord. We have the planner inspo page situation channel set up. So all of that's available for free. Um, but then there's the paid Patreon, of course, which gives you this box and all of the goodies. So we have the pockets. We've got our binder clips with the patterns for this month's box. We also have some little wa uh, washi tapes, more realistic than the ones that are in the box from this month, which I only included two. So I threw some more in here because I was like, mm, we need some more tape. Um, <laughs> some pocket elements, which I gave the do not disturb girl, the little vacay thing. I'm going to have this in my pockets for Mother's Day, y'all. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to be running away. I'm like, leave me alone. Just feed me. And that's all I need. Like, I want a game. I want to be a big kid, right? So anyways, I have these cute little clusters, which are so pretty. I love this one in particular. I will be using that one a bunch. Oh my goodness. And then I did transparent these a little bit so you can get some of that pattern coming through. I love it so much. It's giving that picnic feel, which reminds me of Mother's Day because you often get taken out, right? So, you know, just a little Mother's Day sprinkle. And then we have our faith bit. Last time was pray, this month is faith for your little corners, your page corners, and how gorgeous is that flower? Cannot. You have one that's patterned. I have been using these inside of the My Office as well to throw behind Pinterest thingy-majigs. So I will be using these for those, but you can also use these in your planner spreads, pockets. You can use it to do a memo note within your pocket, etc. You have your cover up for the planners that are decorated. If you don't care for the pattern or if it does not match the month's box, I always include one that does match the month's box. That way you can cover it up and have faith planner, weekly views, daily views, extras, etc. So you're all set. And then, of course, you have your Dutch doors. Now, I did not include any views for this particular month because we do have some really awesome views that are going in the inserts set. But I did include for Mel a flip-flop of each of the Dutch doors in case your app does not allow you to flip um, horizontally or vertically, then you can do it this way. So you can have a Dutch door going that way or that way. So I did that for each of the color variations. And then I also gave one that is white that goes this way because the only white one that we have goes that way. So I hope that makes sense. But I did include some of those Dutch doors. Now hold on one moment and we're gonna hop into the inserts. 
All right, now for my ladies who want the look of this month's box but don't have the time, raising my hand, <laughs> then here we go, okay? This is a week view, and I've done a couple of these week views that are just absolutely stunning and require a little to no effort. Leaves a little room for you to do a little something, something here, and of course to throw a little pocket over here, but does not require you to do the most because obviously if you're trying to quickly plan, you're trying to quickly plan. So you get two of these list view situation that you can do whatever you want with. You can make it chores, to do's for the week, emergencies, calls, whatever, emails, work, schedule, whatever it is, whatever you got, you got it going on there. You have a blank spot, like I said, for decor. You have your top three for each of the days of the week over here. And then you can put your verse of the day. I'm really big on us doing something related to the Bible daily. Prayer is great. Talking to the Lord out loud is great. But you got to get that scripture in every single day. So it is on here for the week. But I do encourage that you do it daily, which is why it is a sticker inside of the little set. Really, really encourage that. Love these so much because it doesn't require a lot of decorating at all, really. You could put a Polaroid here or another widget if you need to track some more items and you get another variation of this exact same thing just a different background in case you're going for another color set same thing here different background same thing here different background this one's really neutral so you can play this one up as much as you want and then same thing here different background and i think that one is it yes let me just triple check I don't want to assume and leave somebody out. Yes, that's the last one. So you get five of these particular week views that are already done for you, and you're literally just writing stuff in, maybe a widget or two, and you're good to go. So give me one second. Now for these next two items, I did not focus on them matching the box. I just focused on the theme of the item because these are inserts that I would figure we're going to use a bunch. Now this is going to be our reading insert, and it is not a, like, whole like oh it's a huge template with links this is literally it it's one page but the reason why i'm doing this is because we have a reading journal in the thingamajig and we also have the my office filing systems which both can operate as standalone book journals or bookkeepers if you want to for your kindle reads and all of those things but this is currently reading this month and it's perfect because you'll pop your picture here you can keep the progress of how far you're making it through the book at the bottom. It has 10, it's by 10s all the way to 100. You put the title, the author, and your rating. And that's how you can keep up with what you're reading for that particular month. Y'all, need I say more? I had to include this stitched bookshelf. It is the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. I love all of this. This is just so sweet stinking cute i just had to include it some kind of way i was like i when i saw this because i was looking for like some kind of book element when i saw this pattern i was like i don't care if it doesn't match the box i don't even care what's going on with everything else i don't know where i'm gonna put you but you gotta be in this insert and so it is over here and i love it so much so anyways it also has a little note section down here at the bottom in case there's any particular notes that you want to pop in here for whatever it is you're reading, but it is a one page insert. I also did this once again, like I said, so we're not weighing down our planners. We're getting to that point now. This is, for those of us who've had this planner since November of last year, we're getting into that six month mark. With all of these inserts and things like that, the planner is going to get heavier. I don't wanna give you guys something that's literally going to drag your computer down even more. So this is that wonderful book reading insert that you can include in your planner and i also love it because it's so pretty you really don't need to decorate it you can throw stickers on it if you want to but i did this because i noticed a trend in the group of a lot of us not having time and so one of the things i wanted to focus on is providing things that are already pretty much done for you so that you don't have to do too much and still be able to enjoy your planner so this is the currently reading book insert for this month now for my temple care babes, we have a temple care journal in the shop, but if you want it inside of your planner, I wanted to recreate that, but do it by week instead of doing the full month, because that was one of the things for me that for that product, I couldn't quite get with. 
is that the full month was actually hard to keep up with because I was like, I don't know what's going to be happening for the month. So I did it by week. I do include a Sunday and Monday start. This is just the Sunday start. And they're in the same thing. So you'll just copy and paste however your app requires. You'll put four things for each day that you want to accomplish for your temple. You can also put pictures over here of things that maybe you want to buy, things that you're doing for yourself, a picture of yourself. If you're on a body care journey, then you can put that over here, etc. It could be your private little journal of just how you're taking care of your temple. And I absolutely love it. It's super simple in design, so it leaves plenty of room for you to decorate and do what you want with it. And like I said, there is a Monday start included with this as well. So those are all of the inserts for this month's box to add to all of the inserts that we have, which we have a crap ton of inserts at this point, y'all. This isn't even all of the inserts. And within these files are multiple pages. So I'm start look, I'm starting to think like, okay, what do we need to do? I need to figure out some kind of system to organize these because they're starting to like, I'm like, wait, where's which view again? So yeah, we'll have to figure this out. But plenty of views for this planner. And if you've just purchased this planner and you don't have any of these views, some of them came with previous boxes. Some of them are in the shop in the home body section. And yeah, that's essentially it. So if you don't have the box, it's because, not because, if you don't have the box or you haven't had the box, that's where all these views are coming from, from the boxes from the previous months. So if you wanna get more views for your planner, I highly recommend you either watch out for my Etsy, or join the subscription box. Now we're gonna move over into the custom setup for this month. No, we're not, I lied. Rewind. I need to pull out the little extra item. Give me one second. All right, y'all. So you know I love my A5. Like I went through a phase with the A5 and I really, really, really miss certain elements of it. And I try my best to put those elements in my planner here on the digital side of things one of the things that i really love about the a5s are the vellum papers that you can put on top of pages now digital takes it a step further because you can use these vellum papers for so many things so we're going to go through some of those uses so vellum for like this kind of situation is really cute because if you wanted to use this particular vellum sheet which is a transparent sheet that has the little flowers on it to cover up your little front page here. You absolutely can do this. And what vellum does for an A5, it's a page protector. But for digital planning, it could be an easy way for you to set up your front cover and not have to worry about doing anything else. Because I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I get a little lost on what to do with this. So I just literally, like I'll put stickers and things like that. But now I think I'm gonna be moving toward using the vellums for this. And of course you can crop it down to show the covers, but I kind of, I mean the tabs, but I kind of like it hanging over the tabs, it makes it feel more realistic. And I love how you can still see the bumblebee clip. It looks like it's behind the page because it is, but you know what I'm saying? Like it just gives that element. Now, another way that you can use this is behind a planning situation where if you wanted to set up a view, right? Let's go into like a blank. Let's just use this, okay? If you wanted to set up a view for your uh, planner or whatever. You can totally sit this right here. And then you can go in and just like go to town, right? Put things on top of this is what I'm saying. Like have this be the background of your planner setup and then get your sticker book and put some widgets on top of it, etc. Of course you won't have these lines on the back. I can't use my blank page because I've already got my examples over there and I plan on copying and pasting some of those to use for actual days. So that's why I'm not touching that, but yes. So I'm gonna now walk you through the different vellums you get with this box because I did make seven of them. I just wanted to show you how to use it really quickly. All right, so this first one is a glitter vellum. Yes, yes, she did. Yes, she did, okay. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. That's a little too far. Let's do 50%. Oh no, whatever. I was trying to do it on the black, but you can kind of see the glitter, but no, you can't. Let's, you see what I'm saying? Like the little sparkles of glitter. You can put this on your planner page as a form of vellum, which is really cute. You can see this one just fine, so I'm not gonna do the black, 
but you have this gorgeous tree in the shape of a cross, which I absolutely love for like if you have your faith planner set up, you can pop that over there. It's just so freaking pretty. You also have this vellum here with the word faith up along the side. I made sure that if it is one of the views where you have the tabs, that faith doesn't get in the way of the tabs. So it is so gorgeous. You also have this one here with the cross. You have one with glitter, kind of speckled glitter at the bottom instead of the top. Well, actually it does have a little bit at the top. I didn't realize that, <laughs> but actually perfect. And then, oops, I gave one that is absolutely blank for you to play with. If you wanna put like little stickers underneath it, or if you wanna put stickers on top or something like that, or if there's a program you have that you just wanna play around with. Now these are not available for resale. This is just for you to get creative with it. I wanna say that. All right, it's not available for resale. So if I see this page and I know my colors and all that stuff, cause this, even the ring is a certain color of certain hex code, I'm going to know. So just know that, okay? <laughs> Do not be I a thieving y'all. Anyways, so I put some cute little flowers behind this one and it is so faint, but I love it. I love it, I love it so much. Oh my gosh, doesn't it look just, y'all on top of a page i cannot i'm so i'm losing my mind over this box actually i gave eight pages i mean eight thingy more jigs of vellum i'm just now realizing that and then there's this one here which is one of my personal favorites because i love you guys know how much i love flowers so this was just like mm, chef's kiss but this is the little added bit it literally took me all day long to actually get this sorted in my mind because i knew what i wanted but i didn't know how to accomplish it and you can't just take a pattern and make it transparent because then you lose these elements. You won't be able to see the full color of it. And then there's certain elements that look better underneath a sheer page. So how do I make it, you know, say like it was such a, such a thought process, but I had so much fun and I'm so happy that I was able to figure out how to make it look like real vellum. Now we're gonna move over into the custom scene. So give me one second. Now you guys know, you know, if you've watched these unboxings, this last part with the custom setups is where I'm fixing to struggle a little bit, but we're gonna get through it. This is the first custom setup background. It is giving all of the summertime slash springtime vibes because as we know, as we get into May, we still have spring going on, but they start putting out summer stuff. So that's why I'm like, no, we're gonna go ahead and have fun with this because you know how it gets, okay? So I included some empty frames here for your Polaroids. You can put your pictures here, just crop them in. You could do Pinterest, you could do your family. For me, obviously I'm gonna be doing Pinterest because I don't really like to show my family off like that on social media without their consent, etc. I do do sometimes on Patreon, paid only, but definitely not as much as I used to. So you can put whatever you want within those two frames. I love this distressed look wood with the paint chipping off. It is just so, love it. Just love, 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 love it. And then um, there is, oh my goodness, here we go. The second one, and it's the exact same thing, but if you're not filling the blue and you need to tone it down, you need it to neutralize itself, then I've done the same thing, but I've given you the traditional famously loved brown wood that I always use because I love it. But anyways, so you have the brown here just in case the other one is not your zhuzh, I understand, all right? And then, you have this one here, which has the little corkboard thingy over here in case you wanted to use some of that dashboard kit with the pins to put important memos off to the side next to your planner. And you can still put a picture over here if you want to. And it'll just, you know, just zhuzh it up. You know what I'm saying? It's really, 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 really cute. And I did the white for this one because the blue was just looking way too busy. It was not giving what it needed to give. I was like, uh, no boo. But you know what does give what it needs to give? brown mm, i love my brown anyways so i did include it in brown as well in case you once again prefer a more neutral setup especially for the covers that i'm going to show you guys so we have this cover which is my favorite i am loving the mintiness of this you guys know i love my lace i just love i love this so much and it is so pretty and it's gonna look so cute on one of those backgrounds. I haven't fully decided which one I'm gonna use, but I love, love, love this one. You also have it in that really cute peachy orange situation with the orangey clasp to give you that pop of color. It's so pretty with the little patterns around it. The patterns, the lace, Daisha. 
the rest of these are all solid colors. So I went with this dark chocolate and I'll tell you why, because it is just so pretty. And I pulled it from one of the images in the box because the box has a lot of those seat, not the box, the sticker book, y'all. It has a lot of scene with scene, excuse me, with a lot of woodwork. And so I wanted to use one of the chocolates from that woodwork and I'm just loving it. It is so rich in tone. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, do we have a rich dark chocolatey brown cover? I don't think we do. And this is also one of those ones where you can pop your initials on it. All of the blank ones are like that, so it's fun. Now we have this minty green one. We did have a cover, I think, that was around this color, but not with the lace. And I need mine with the lace, so we went ahead and did it, and it is stunning. I love it so much. It is so, so pretty. And then, of course, I had to whip a pink one in there because there is quite a bit of pink in this box. So had to throw in a pink one with the lace, and it is just so pretty. And I think that's the last one. Yes, it is. All right, y'all, that's the box. That is the box. And I absolutely love it. It is so gorgeous. Now for my Patreon ladies who are in the Discord on the $3 tier and up, do expect another freebie. I know, I know, bro and I was probably like, you gave us that freebie, it was like 232 stickers, I think. Um, we're gonna do one more freebie. <laughs> so just, You'd be on the lookout for that before I take my creative break and we just have fun in the discord and chat about all of the things but I am going to do one more freebie I also will be doing another set of the wallpapers because it's time to switch out and I love doing these you can of course make your own I did do a tutorial on the patreon and I believe it was the paid version of patreon on how I make my wallpapers so if you're curious about that definitely check it out um, and then for my free members, be on the lookout because within the faith one, the faith situation, I will be dropping May's prayer board there because you guys will be getting a monthly prayer board for free. I'm really excited about it. I really loved this month's prayer board. I don't know. Zoom Notes has been acting nuts, but maybe I could pull it up. Hold on. Let me not have y'all wait with me. This was this month's free prayer board, and I've actually added some more people I'm praying for on this one. I really do like it. It's super cute. I'm doing this next month's one in a different format with way more room, lots more paper to write on. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for that if you are within the free portion of the Discord. And if you are wondering what the Discord is all about, it is all of this good stuff here, all of these wonderful channels here. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this unboxing with me. I hope that it was enjoyable and fun. I had so much fun making this month's box. It's always a challenge. <laughs> Obviously, I've been doing this now for a year and a month, and it's definitely a challenge trying to figure out how to do each box where they feel different. I hope that I am living up to that expectation. <laughs> God bless each and every one of you all. And I will talk to you all next time. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe yet again. And check out the Discord link below as well as the Patreon link and my Etsy shop. Thank you. Bye.